Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. The story of the F-35B begins with the Joint Strike Fighter Program, initiated in the late 1990s. One of the key requirements for this program was the development of a variant capable of vertical takeoff and landing. This resulted in the creation of the variant of the F-35 Lightning II in the early 2000s, designed to be capable of short vertical takeoffs, thanks to its innovative engine technology. Advanced tools and training facilities enable pilots to excel in combining stealth and situational awareness. The helmet-mounted display system at Lockheed Martin's Fighter Demonstration Center is a groundbreaking technology integrated into the F-35B's pilot gear. It's a high-tech helmet that provides pilots with a comprehensive and immersive heads-up display, enhancing their situational awareness and mission capabilities. The center offers highly realistic simulations of combat scenarios, allowing pilots to practice a wide range of missions and tactics in a controlled environment. Pilots learn to maximize the F-35B's stealth capabilities, including tactics for minimizing radar cross-sections and reducing their exposure to enemy threats. Likewise, the training emphasizes situational awareness by simulating complex battlefield environments. Pilots learn to process vast amounts of information quickly and make informed decisions. The concept of short takeoff and vertical landing was a critical requirement for the F-35B. Driven primarily by the U.S. Marine Corps' need for an aircraft capable of operating from austere locations, short runways, and small ships. This resulted in the implementation of two groundbreaking technologies. The lift fan provides the aircraft with an additional vertical lift during takeoff and landing. and a three-bearing swivel nozzle in the engine allows it to direct thrust downward for vertical lift. To achieve short takeoff, the lift fan and swivel nozzle work together. The lift fan provides additional lift as the aircraft accelerates down the runway. Once it reaches a sufficient speed, the swivel nozzle redirects thrust downward, allowing the F-35B to lift off vertically. Similarly, during hover and vertical landing, the swivel nozzle is pivotal. The pilot can adjust the angle of the nozzle to control the aircraft's vertical position. The lift fan continues to provide lift, enabling the aircraft to hover and descend vertically for landing. This advanced aircraft can be efficiently transported and stowed in the hangar of a ship, specifically amphibious assault ships like the USS Tripoli. To stow the aircraft, a lift truck is positioned to carefully lift the F-35B by its main landing gear. The aircraft is then transported into the hangar. The hangar of an amphibious assault ship is limited in size, so efficient stowage allows for the storage of multiple aircraft and equipment. Also, this optimization of space ensures that the F-35B can be rapidly launched for subsequent missions, maintaining the ship's operational schedule.
As part of the Harrier family of vertical short takeoff and landing aircraft, the AV-8A Harrier emerged as a revolutionary aviation concept in the 1960s. Developed in the United Kingdom by Hawker Sedeli, it became synonymous with its ability to take off and land vertically or on short runways, making it a game changer in military aviation. The AV-8B Harrier II represents a significant evolution of the Harrier family, building upon the success and lessons learned from its predecessor, the AV-8A. The development of the AV-8B Harrier II began in the late 1970s and was designed to address several limitations of the AV-8A. It was equipped with more sophisticated avionics, including modern radar and targeting systems, enhancing its situational awareness and targeting capabilities. This allowed it to enter service in the early 1980s, serving in various conflicts and missions like Operation Desert Storm in 1991. The heart of the AV-8B's VSTOL capability is its Rolls-Royce Pegasus engine, a marvel of engineering that enables the aircraft to generate vectored thrust. It features four vectoring nozzles that can be swiveled to direct thrust. Two nozzles are located in the front and two are at the rear of the engine, which is designed to provide variable thrust allowing the pilot to manage power output for different phases of flight. For vertical landings, the AV-8B hovers over the landing area, and the pilot gradually reduces thrust while maintaining precise control of the nozzles. When taking off from a short runway, the AV-8B uses a combination of forward thrust and lift generated by the nozzles to achieve a short takeoff. Landing gear malfunctions can be particularly perilous for any aircraft, and they pose a unique set of challenges for aircraft like the AV-8B Harrier II. Captain William Mahoney's experience serves as a compelling example of how skilled pilots can manage challenging situations during landing gear malfunctions. His incident, which occurred aboard the USS Bataan, highlights the importance of remaining calm under pressure and leveraging the capabilities of the AV-8B. It was a little overwhelming at uh, first. For a moment, I just wanted to catch my breath. We pride ourselves uh, at landing on the ship uh, perfectly like this, uh, in the same spot every time, um, and doing the same thing over and over again. But there's no way to train to land in this kind of situation. Routine maintenance is essential to ensure the AV-8B Harrier II's operational readiness and safety. Maintenance crews conduct thorough pre-flight checks. These checks cover various systems and components, including avionics, hydraulics, and flight controls. The aircraft undergoes regular scheduled inspections based on its flight hours and mission cycles. These inspections are detailed and systematic involving a comprehensive examination of critical components. Over time, certain components experience wear and tear. Maintenance personnel identify and replace these components as part of routine maintenance. This process includes lanyard assembly for the heat shield, electrical maintenance on a wing panel, or corrosion control.
a unique aircraft that combines the capabilities of a helicopter and a fixed-wing aircraft is what characterizes the MV-22B Osprey. It features tilt rotor technology, which allows it to take off and land vertically like a helicopter, and then tilt its rotors forward for horizontal flight like an airplane. It's designed to operate from various types of ships, including aircraft carriers, amphibious assault ships, and hospital ships, like the USNS Mercy. Specially trained deck crews handle the MV-22B during launch and recovery operations. They secure the aircraft, prepare it for takeoff, and guide it to the back of the deck for landing. On ships like the USNS Mercy, the MV-22B can quickly transport patients from remote locations to a medical facility. EVTOLs represent a new generation of aircraft designed to take off and land vertically using electric propulsion systems. The potential of this aircraft has been seen in the AFWORK Agility Prime program. Powered by a remarkable arrangement of 18 independent electric motors and propellers, the HEXA, developed by Lift Aircraft, stands out as an innovative electric vertical takeoff aircraft. Its dual capability to land in both land and water extends its range of potential uses. While HEXA is primarily designed for recreational use, its EVTOL capabilities align with the broader vision of urban air mobility, potentially alleviating traffic congestion. The 413th Flight Test Squadron does all the developmental tests for rotorcraft uh, in the Air Force. And so we are experts in testing vertical takeoff and landing aircraft and so this is a cool opportunity to leverage some of the expertise and knowledge we have for those and apply it to the this new field of electric propulsion aircraft the vbat 118 an autonomous vertical takeoff and landing unmanned aerial vehicle has a hybrid architecture combining the benefits of both fixed wing and rotary wing aircraft It can transition from vertical takeoff and landing to horizontal flight, offering extended range and endurance in forward flight while maintaining the flexibility of VTOL. Recent operations involving the VBAT 118, such as the testing conducted by U.S. contractors with Shield AI aboard the USS Michael Monsoor during RIMPAC 2022, demonstrate the versatility of this UAV in military settings. Such tests allow naval forces to evaluate the UAV's performance and integration with existing platforms. Vertical lift and takeoff capabilities are driving transformative changes across multiple sectors. Such technologies are revolutionizing urban air mobility offering efficient and congestion alleviating transportation solutions. In military operations, VTOL and vertical landing capabilities enhance operational flexibility, enabling deployments on naval vessels and remote battlefields. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.